Hello everyone, I am back with a new topic, money. What is money? Okay, there is money here, there is money here, and we can all agree that this is money and this is money. But the money that I see here is different. So, what is money? Money is anything that is widely accepted as a form of payment of goods and services or as a means of debt repayment. Anything that can be generally accepted as a form of payment. So, this is money that is generally accepted in South Africa. But if you want to go to America or you want to buy goods outside the country, you have to convert this money into this money. So this is money and this is money. Money is anything that is widely accepted as a form of payment of goods and services or as a means of debt repayment. What are the functions of money? Money serves as the medium of exchange. And what does that mean? It means that money overcomes the difficulties that the bartering system has created. There was no common measure of value. It was just a matter of agreeing like, okay, if you want this, let me give you this. But in terms of the measurement of value, it was not even fair in most cases. This indicates that money serves as a medium of exchange between the buyer and the seller. Instead of swapping clothes for health services, the doctor now swaps money for the health services. That means a doctor will provide a health service to you and you pay in form of money. But then the doctor wants to buy clothes. He can no longer say, bring clothes so that I give you a health service. But you pay the money and he now takes the money and pay for his clothing. Next, money serves as the store of value. And what does that mean? Money is the most liquid store of value. It is the most easily transferable kind of value. It's easier to send money or transfer money from King Williamstown to Johannesburg in no time. Unlike long time ago, if you had to do tarry with somebody who is in Johannesburg when you are in King Williamstown, it was very difficult. But now, just pay for the goods, the money is in the account, goods are sent to you. Case liquid, meaning to say it can be spent right away on the products and the services. Money loses some purchasing power due to inflation, but it stays money. Number three, unit of account. Money is a vehicle, it is a tool that makes it possible to do a comparison of the value of uh, the goods and services. We can compare the value of bread and the value of sugar in terms of money. So it is a yardstick by which all other values are measured measure this, 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 this in terms of money. A doctor, for example, may charge 600 rand for consultation. You want to see the doctor, you pay 600 rand. So with that 600 rand, you can get two pairs of sneakers of 300 rand each. So the service of the doctor is 600 rand but with the same 600 rand you can buy two pairs of sneakers 
money serves as a basic element, a type of accountants that makes thinking about opportunity costs easier. So in this case, we have opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of going to the doctor is two pairs of sneakers. And the opportunity cost of two pairs of sneakers is 600 rand consultation. Standard of deferred repayment, that is the fourth function of money. And what do we mean by that? Payments paid in the future are referred to as deferred payments. So, money serves as a commonly accepted method of valuing a debt, permitting goods and services to be purchased now and paid for later. You can buy your goods on credit. You pay later. You can go to game, get yourself a, a fridge, then you pay uh, bit by bit. You pay for what you are using now. This marks the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching.